G'day everyone, Teenic back here again in Transport Fever on the American free game map. Uh, welcome back to Austin, where we sort of did some stuff last time. I mean, we, we certainly built some tracks and took a long time to build a bridge. And we took a long time to build another bridge. I'm pretty sure that's all we did. Oh no, we built a train too and it was wonderful. And we finally got to where we needed to go. Uh, we also had that little hiccup down at the junction down at uh, Fort Collins down there, which is all the way over there. Uh, I have since sort of pushed the game forward a couple of months just to see if anything would go wrong. Had a look at the various routes running through there and it all seems to be hunky-dory. Uh, so hopefully that problem won't happen again. It's very unusual we didn't get a warning saying so-and-so couldn't find a path to continue because, yeah, normally the game sort of flags that, but at the moment it's just Tucson Sawmill having a sook. Uh, so today I want to push on with extending our new fuel service from Columbia down to Merino Valley and obviously Mount Importance. Uh, Mount Importance is probably going to be the easier of the two simply because Merino Valley, and I had a look at this uh, off camera here, it's going to be very hard to squeeze a truck stop in to really access the meat of this industrial area. Uh, we also have scattered industrial area out here and out here as well. Uh, now, wherever we choose to deliver the fuel will spur on industrial development, which is fine. But, you know, to really start making the money, we really want to access this, this sort of centralised industrial area here. Uh, I am aware that you can unload freight at bus stops. But I don't think that's terribly realistic, having a fuel truck show up at this crowded peak hour bus stop and just pump fuel into a nearby industry doesn't seem right to me. So I do want to have a proper truck stop there. Uh, Mount Importance, on the other hand, we've got all of the industry at the, that's the wrong thing to click on, at the southern end of town. So it'll be a simple matter. Just... Let's just reflect on the fact that I said this is going to be simple to, to run a railway line around the outside of town. Obviously, we've tunneled under the town here uh, and then have a fuel siding over on the side of what appears to be some sort of mountain. Yeah, that's definitely a mountain. Good work, team. Uh, so that, that should be a bit easier to do. So that is where I want to start today. So we'll start by getting rid of that bit of road there because it is just, it's just going to be frustrating. That's passenger station. Don't make that mistake yet again. Uh, now, this is where I would like to try and maximize this 400 meter station business that we're, we're sort of running with here. Uh, you're going to have terrain alignment problems all up and down this hill, aren't you? Oh, not at this end. How much hill are we actually taking out to build that? And we capture literally bugger all of the industrial area, so that would be a complete waste of money. Uh, what about if we wanted to go over here? We're not taking out much in the way of hill, well, unless we do that. Still get bugger all catchment, so we're still going to need a truck route uh, into town there. Uh, if we're going to need a truck route, we may as well go ahead and just stuff it over on this side of town, really. What are you collisioning with? There's nothing to collision with. How are you... Are you collisioning with the tunnel underneath you? Is that is that a problem? Seriously, there's a... It's the, the tunnel's all the way under there. Could you just not? Let's get rid of that. See if that helps. Colli collision. No, no, you're not going to collision here. Okay, good. Let's just let's just throw it down there and uh, and see where, see where it takes us, you know? Let's just fly by the seat of our pants, because that's apparently how we run things. Didn't finish that sentence very well, did I? Uh, let's go with a small street for this, just because it's just a, a handy little connection down to the road there. And then we should be able to shoehorn a truck stop in uh, on the corner here pretty succinctly. Um, there you go. Problem solved there. Uh, so I said this would be easy, and I knew I'd curse myself, because now we have to find a place to put a truck stop that actually catches more than 5% of the stupid industrial area. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, these buildings over here are fairly cheap to remove, so that actually gets us really good coverage. So let's just go ahead and throw it down there. Uh, yeah, in fact, we've, we've covered everything except this one building here. Sorry, random industrial building, you don't get any fuel. But that should be fine. Oh, and hang, hang on, did we catch... Oh, it was two, two, sorry. We've left two industrial buildings out in the cold. whoop de doo uh, it's not my fault they set up in a stupid spot. So, we'll need to go ahead and run this track down. Actually, will there be anything else we can deliver here? Um, we have this sort of handy-dandy brickworks here, and we have a handy-dandy quarry here. So we could, in theory, run some bricks out of this siding here. Uh, we could also deliver goods in here. Where would they be coming from? Uh, let's see, we could be coming in this way. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be very hard to get anything else onto this line to begin with, unless we bring it up from, let's say, we could come out of uh, the factory here, 
we'd have to run down. No, we'd have to put a triangle in there. No, okay, so we'll stick with the one track uh, siding. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think we'll want to expand this station. And even if we do, it should be a fairly fairly easy, uh, easy task. Although I said this initial task would be easy and we wouldn't need any trucks, and look where that got me. Uh, so go ahead and connect you up to the main line and then just put a set of crossing points in there to get you across to the other side if you should so desire. Uh, and we'll go ahead and whack down a signal too for trains coming up the hill. Uh, we will need to have some decent motive power on this. This is not the, uh, the most gentle hill. How are you going with it? Yes, even the passenger train hardly flying up at full speed, but looking good doing so. Yeah, thumbs up, buddy. And here comes one about to come down the hill too, so big thumbs up for you. I realize you can't see the thumbs up and I just sound like a mad person, but how is that any different from any other video we've made together? Uh, good, so that should be a, a simple uh, simple train route to connect up there and then we'll do the trucks, build a couple of vehicles and we will be on our way. Uh, where does this come from? It comes from over here, good. So start at Columbia West please, uh, and then you can swing down all the way over here to, uh, what would this be, Mount Importance, Lower Mount Importance. I find that an ironic name, but whatever. Uh, now, this will be fuel from CLMB to Muntim, I guess. That, 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 that kind of abbreviates man importance. Muntim? Munt? Muntim? Yeah, you know what? Let's just run with it. It's fine. Uh, now, depot. We'll probably just end up using the one over there to build the new vehicles. That's fine. Uh, we'll need to set up the deliveries as well. Uh, obviously coming from the truck stop to that truck stop there and we'll call that Mount Importance Deliver Deliveries. If we could spell it correctly, that'd be super duper. Uh, so that should be fine as well. Good. Uh, now we'll get the train going first because that's going to take the most amount of time to get into position. Uh, yeah, we will have to use this depot up here, unfortunately. Uh, which platform did he want to use, by the way? Platform 2. Oh, good. So we can go straight in from uh, from the depot. So that's not an issue. Now, we're talking horsepower. We're talking horsepower. Uh, do we want to go a disease? Well, we've got all these funky new German engines, but, well, they are German. So they don't really have a place on this map. But then again, we have used German trains before because they've been the most suitable. So I'm I'm not ruling it out. Let's let's just let's just keep an open mind here. So what do we got? We got the I think we got two different varieties of the same thing. Uh, so what do you got? You got 120 kilo newton thingies uh, and that much power, which is a number that we have observed as a good number. Uh, so if we come down to look at uh, what would we be going if not that? We'd probably go Mercado again. That's slightly less power, but more tractive effort. Okay, so the German looks like he's going to lose out because we need the tractive effort to get up the hill. Uh, did we just literally just lose the other Mercado? Oh, no, hang on. We've got New York Central lines. New York Central. They're both exactly the same, except one lives slightly longer. I don't I don't know what, what's different between them. And I'm sorry if you just heard that really loud cockatoo at the window. Uh, you go, Australian wildlife. You keep it cool, bro. Uh, otherwise, we'd be looking at a diesel, uh, which actually has pretty much the same tractive effort and I think costs more to run. So, I guess we go the Mikado. Yeah, a little bit more power on the diesel, same tractive effort, so... Yeah, I'm thinking Mikado. Unless we double-head the diesel. Um, you do offer a significant amount of tractive effort. Uh, yeah, that's, that's very tempting does cost 1.5 million a year to run and we will be running an empty back uh, in one direction though which is uh, which is definitely a concern because we can pick up oil here but there's no oil sort of in the Mount Importance area that we we can pick up and bring back unless we did something with this oil down here but I sort of feel this oil will be better used locally so yeah we'll go the Mercado uh, as much as I'd like to use a nice big expensive diesel running empty back does sort of Let's go the, the one that lives slightly longer. They cost the same. They cost the same. Let's just go with the one that lives for 45 years. Uh, buy me one of those, please. And uh, yeah, okay, so we obviously won't be going for a max length train. Let's just simplify this. Uh, we will go the American tank car, of course. Uh, as a tanker typically hauls only one product, it has to return to the customer empty. Wow, I literally just observed that. For instance, a car carrying oil could not haul any other liquid. Well, don't tell that to the rest of my trains because we're, we're multi-handling. I'm assuming we wash them out, but yeah, 
What, what about the European one? What does that have to say for itself? Double bogey four axle tank wagon. Well, it's not wrong, but you know. Mm, same capacity, 15 or 18. Do you have different top speeds? 160, 160. This one's cheaper to run, and it lives longer too. So that's 167 grand a year to run. That's 200 grand a year to run for only three more capacity. I'm actually tempted to go European. Let's just see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, let's go 12 and whack on a, uh, we need a, we need a caboose. Uh, whack on the, the caboose there. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. I'm, I'm interested because, they, I mean, they, they are European design, but they're not, like, noticeably European. They don't, like, scream out, we live in Europe on the side of them. Like, we haven't put a sign up or anything. Uh, so this is clumb to mount importance. Uh, so for roughly both these trains are the same length. So you're hauling 180 and costing 2.5 mil a year. And how about you? You are hauling 180 and costing nearly 2.5 mil a year. Okay, so this one is a, a tiny discount in running costs over the uh, over the American version, but it's pretty negligible. I just think it's nice to have variety in tank cars. Look, we can see the passenger train in the background. Whee! Yeah! That's how we do that. Good. So, it would help if we set some trucks up as well, because otherwise he won't know that he can bring any fuel over here. Uh, so where's a road vehicle depot? We've surely got one in this town. There it is. Uh, and let's just go with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 again, and send you guys out on uh, Mount Importance Deliveries, please, which would be under M for Mount Importance. Uh, there it is, Mount Importance Deliveries. Off you go, guys. How's the passenger line looking down here? I realize we've really hamstrung ourselves with the length of this station, which is disappointing. Uh, yeah, the trains seem to be handling the load quite well, which is good. That's, uh, that's definitely something to be appreciated. And our city circle is... How's the station go? Because, yeah, okay, so we're missing out a little bit up here. But the city circle itself appears to be catching all of the houses in town. Uh, a couple out here, that's not too much of an issue. How about out here? That's that's not so bad. I wouldn't mind sort of swinging the city circle around this side, though. Hello. Ooh, hello, car. Beep, beep. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is maybe we sort of extend the city circle around out this way. And, uh, and oh, it should be fairly easy to get over the railway line here as it goes into the cutting. Again, famous last words, but we'll see how we go. Uh, so if I wanted to connect that up like that, obviously you want to build a little crossing, which I don't want. No, 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 no. Okay, so not as easy as I thought because that looks flippin' ridiculous. So, hmm, okay, maybe maybe not an option. Uh, maybe we want to have a separate bus route that comes over here and turns around. How, what's your catchment like? Yeah, you're catching pretty well, but again, the town's growing in this area, so we, we probably want to do something about that. Uh, what if we tried to build a bridge over this way? Would that be slightly more attractive? No, 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 no. Okay, cool. This is this is fine. We're going to have to build another one of my ridiculously complicated bridges that you all love, or at least pretend to love. You don't love them, do you? You hate them. Uh, no, that was the tick, dummy. You needed to click on the stupid, uh, the, the what you call it, the, the arrow that makes it go up. Yeah, okay, so try it, try it again. Yeah, ah, oh, that wasn't so challenging, was it? Actually clicking on the right thing. Well, apparently you made it happen. Uh, run that over there. Good, and uh, drop that down so it's no. Sure, that looks all right. Oh, I hear a steam train. Hello. Do you want to go this bridge? That looks ugly. Do you want to go that bridge? That well, looks less ugly. Do you want to go this bridge? Mm, that looks slightly uglier. Uh, let's go with this one. I don't like these columns, though, actually. Let's not. Uh, oh, this one, here we go. This one looks suitably town-centric. Uh, now, can we shorten this bridge here? No. Okay, cool. Uh, what if we run that down around like that? That itself, not a problem. Well, I guess we've got room for more train tracks if we wanted to. Although, I mean, the station here really hamstrings how much extra traffic we can put in, unless we wanted to send a, a triangle junction around. Oh god, that sounds complicated. I guess we could always put another station in this area here if we needed to expand capacity, uh, because we're already gonna have the uh, have the bus stops connecting up this part of town. So I'll, I'll remain open to that possibility if it, uh, if it comes to it. Uh, so we'll run that road down like that and we should be able to service uh, all the bus stops that we do already. Have I only got a one direction city circle of man importance too? God, I really phoned it in when I did these towns, didn't I? 
Uh, we should probably update that as well before we go building new bus routes. Uh, so a new bus stop there, please. Uh, where's this bus stop? There was a bus stop here. Oh, it's no, that's a bus, dummy. Yeah, good work. Bus stop, bus. Bus stop, bus. Pretty, uh, pretty easy to tell the difference between those. And I still fluffed it. That's a bus. That's a bus stop. Good work. See, learning. That's a bus stop up here. Uh, and there should be another one down this part of town as well. Here it is. Hello. Uh, so now I need to... Actually, do we want to ignore this bus stop altogether and swing the route up this way? Possibly. Uh, we will have to demolish a house, but it's only worth 150. Okay, we're going to have to demolish two. Uh, can, we, can we get out of demolishing that one? Actually, can we squidge the road in here? No, that's going to require two. Okay. Uh, now you're just going to construction, not possible me. Okay, cool. There we go. Run that down like that, and then connect up. No, no, yep, no, just no, no, no. Come on. What if we come in at this angle? Collision. Mm -hmm. Close it is. You always went to collision, aren't you? Two buildings will be removed. Well, it's only 230 grand. Let's make it happen. And we've got this weird little squiggly road here, but uh, I think we can deal. We can live with that. Uh, so go ahead and chuck a couple of bus stops in there because apparently that's what we wanted. Uh, and a couple down here for the growing town. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have to... Hang on. He goes through that bus stop because he's got to go through this bus stop? How the hell did we set this up? Where? How, how does he get from there to... Oh, he goes around like this. Duh. So if we instead move him around to these bus stops, we should still have coverage of all the important parts of town. I might chuck another couple in here just to be sure. There we go. Okay, so we're, we're going to expand the city circle out a bit so that we can uh, we can get a bit more coverage of the outside of town. Uh, but we will drop off coverage in the centre, but that's okay because the station reaches everything anyway. Uh, so for this one... I'm going to go ahead and build two new routes just so we don't potentially miss anything with the old routes uh, by, you know, trying to add extra stops to them. So obviously we're starting at the station and then we're going to swing around this way uh, like this. Boom, 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 and then boom. And that is quite a suitable circle there. Uh, so that is Mount Important City Circle. Mount C Importance, apparently. Let's fix that one up. Uh, Man Important City Circle, and what direction is that? That is anti-clockwise. Boom. Uh, so that means this one will be Mount Important City Circle clockwise. And it should be a simple matter to just reverse engineer what we've already done. So run the bus stops around in that order. Back to Birch Street. Excellent. Good. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and send some new buses out on that route, and then I guess we'll just send the old ones off, because uh, in 19 years, yeah, they're sort of getting up there in, in their age. Uh, so that should be fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six on each. So you guys are the Mount Important City Circle. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, you're down here somewhere. Uh, Anti-clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you guys are clockwise. Yes, I'm going to say yes. Uh, yeah, so, ooh, new Alco Heavy Hall. I'm assuming that's what the HH stands for. That's what I've always called it. Uh, good, so that's the new ones done. Now we've just got to get rid of the old route, uh, and we'll just send those buses off to scrap. Um, what's that? No, send to depot and sell, and then delete. Good, so... Obviously, this loses its access to Oak Street, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue because, well, that bus stop there is kind of pointless at the moment. Uh, but we should have coverage of the outlying areas uh, with our new bus stops. And as I said, anyone in this area can just walk to the station. They should stop being lazy sods. Uh, and it will create a bit more traffic in this area here, which is a bit of a concern. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can deal with it for now. And the, the town has grown. It has its own cars, but it's not too much of an issue. Uh, something else I do want to look at in the future is when the town expands up this way a bit more. Uh, yeah, obviously we're only missing out on a few houses. These ones here are all on the bus route. So eventually I will need a bus route that comes up this way, uh, which will be very important. Mount, Mount Importance, get it? Very, very important. That's it, I'm on a timeout, aren't I? Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to do, obviously, was link up Merino Valley, and this was going to be, quote, unquote, the hard one. 
I don't know how hard it's going to be considering how much mess we made at Mount Importance by knocking down buildings to build a truck stop. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be more of the same in Merino Valley, but uh, we'll have a bit of a go. Uh, so again, let's look at our land values. So obviously the uh, the more prominent the yellow, I guess you'd describe it, the, the fuller the yellow, the, uh, the more the land is worth. So if we wanted to put a truck stop in here, for example, construction is not possible. So that's that's a good guide. Uh, so 5.5 million. That's that's a lot of money. Uh, but if we went over to sort of less valuable buildings, 2.7 million. So you know, half the cost. Uh, so ideally, we don't want to knock down too many buildings. That's 1.3, but we can't squidge it in due to roads. 1.3 there. What about residential? What if we knock some of them down? 1.3. Uh, over here, how are we looking? We could get 1.5. No, I think over here is probably the winner uh, in terms of... Actually, let's try and get it coming off the smaller road because there'll be less cars using that. Uh, 1.3 million gets coverage of pretty much the entire industrial zone. We've got... Two, I'm pointing at the screen. Why do I keep pointing at the screen? Uh, we've got two down here on the left-hand side of the screen that we're not catching. I don't think we can we can get uh, if we put it down here we, we're just going up in price now we'll just have to leave them out in the cold uh 1.3 million boom make it happen and it also covers a commercial district in case we want to truck in some uh commercial goods in there uh now where are we going to put the siding i was initially thinking over here because nice and flat but of course we do have this handy dandy little oil terminal here uh, so I'm wondering if we can't sort of double handle and send oil back, despite what the build window says. Uh, the other thing going against that idea is that we could run a railway line underneath our existing line and run the oil just up to this location here, and then even run fuel back and deliver that into town as well. So, yeah, even if we put two tracks in here and then deliver the oil to both, that might be an option. Uh, what are we going contour-wise? We're not doing too bad, so if we went with two tracks, we'll go stick to 320 metres. We'll keep this a shorter train. So if we sort of put put it in, I guess, probably about here, that gets catchment, and we might be able to fit that railway line under the existing bridge without having to build a new one. So you, you don't want to fit under it. You want to go over the top. Okay, well, that doesn't work for me. Uh... Okay, I don't know how that would work with the river being next to it. I get the feeling you're going to have some, some seasonal flooding. But in theory, it's going to work. Okay, that's good. So, um, no, we can't raise it up any. Is that below sea level? I kind of get the feeling this is going to be a problem when it rains. Um, yeah, the water is already trying to leak in. Let's just Let's just pretend we didn't do that. Uh, I don't think that's going to be much of an option there. So as much as I'd like to have a line under that bridge, I don't think it's going to fit without rebuilding the bridge. So it does look like we'll be running the oil up here, uh, which means we can probably downgrade you to one track because the second track... Uh, now we'll keep the second track. We may need it for deliveries from somewhere on this side. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. We might need it in the future. Uh, never, never bulldoze something if you don't need it. Uh, unless you are determined to not need it, in which case bulldoze away. Uh, so we'll get rid of this road and rebuild it because it's kind of annoying. Uh, and then we need to run this around in a big loop and bring it up parallel with the main line. Oh goody, we've got a big hill to climb to. Uh, what's that? 73, 74, 75, that'll do. Uh, obviously we need to get the road back onto the other side of the line. Uh, show me country roads. What can you show me in country roads? It's a tiny country road, dirt, yeah, fits the bill. Uh, run that down around like that, and then come back up to where you were. Fantastic. So, diverted the road a bit, but that shouldn't be an issue. We'll, our truck shouldn't have a problem with that little tiny detour there. And, uh, and that level crossing shouldn't delay them too much. Now, the question is, can we fit a reasonable junction on the hill here? It flattens out a bit up here, I think. Uh, no, no, it's just there's not a drop off on either side. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll have the, the turnouts here. Uh, 60Ks now should be fine. Uh, we'll just get rid of these signals because they're going to get in the way. And we'll drop another set of points in here, uh, let's say 75, so they can at least try and get up the hill a bit quicker. Uh, oh, actually, that'll be the ones coming down the hill, Tini. Good work. Uh, signal. Uh, signal and signal. Good. 
That's still just Tucson Sawmill having a sook, that's fine. Uh, good, so this should be our second route that we can set up now. Uh, hopefully the existing fuel train is not... Wow, this, this, this service has really taken off. We have a lot of fuel trying to go to Austin. Uh, obviously that is helping with the amount of stored... Well, I guess. Wow, maybe we're going to need extra trains. Okay, well thank god we've got a third train coming online. Uh, we can't buy a train yet, we haven't set up the route. Yes, good. Uh, so new route uh, from here. And then we will have him come down here to the oil well. Uh, that, that's a nice color, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, so this is uh, oil slash fuel, and this is from, well it's not really from Columbia West, is it? It's more from Merino Valley, because that's where the oil will come from. Uh, so we'll call it more to CLMB. Good stuff. Uh, and that should be fine. We'll just get a train on that for now. He can start bringing oil up anyway. And then when we get the truck set up, he'll start bringing fuel back again. Uh, kind of want to go another Mikado. Unless that new Alco HH is better than the old one. Uh, let's have a look at Locos. Uh, can, we, can we narrow it down to diesel, please? Oh, this is good. Uh, that is literally just a reskin. Okay, so as cool as that looks, it's not going to offer us any advantages. So that's fine. So let's go back to Steam. Uh, let's go the New York Central Mercado again. Hasn't let us down yet. Not that I've been watching to see if it has let us down. Uh, how are you going? You making money? E that's not the right window. You are making money. Good for you. Okay, well, there we go. That's that's enough of a reason as anything. Uh, we do need some wagons for him, though. Uh, no, that's, that's not wagons. Freight. There you go. Now, as this specifically says it can only carry one thing at a time, I'm going to believe it at face value. Not because this one's slightly cheaper, but, well, it is. Uh, how many of these have I built so far? I haven't been counting. Seven. Okay, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, and then we'll chuck a caboose on there as well. Uh, just to keep it uniform. Uh, there we go. American caboose on the back of a European-style oil tanker train with an American engine. I don't see anything wrong with that. And we will send you out on... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, we called it oil fuel, not crude. We should probably correct that. Uh, off you go, train, train, train. Ugh, I'm not having a good day for talking. Uh, that is a steep hill. Good work, team. Uh, yeah, so we'll call that, uh, we need to call that crude. So that it makes a little bit more sense. Yes, you chuff your way out into the siding. Uh, hopefully you're not going to hold up the other train. Well, the, the other train that we saw before has managed to hold up the passenger train, so I guess turnabout's fair play. Uh, how are you going getting up this not insignificant hill? 48 k's an hour. Not doing too bad. It's not a long train, though. Ooh, I like the sound of it. Oh, just, let's get ahead of it a bit. Come on. Just, just, yeah, yeah, there you go. And zoom in, zoom in. Yes. Okay. Let's enjoy that. Let's just enjoy that. That's getting the job done. I like that. That's fantastic. Excellent. Good. And the passenger train is rapidly catching up. But that's okay. Once he's over the crest of the hill, he should pick up a bit of speed uh, down through Austin there. Well, he actually branches off at Austin, so it's uh, it's negligible how much uh, how much impact he'll have on the passenger train, really. So, yes, uh, trucks. We need trucks. We need trucks at Merino Valley, and we need them to deliver into town. We also need to put a truck stop down, you know, for the trains, because helpful. Uh, so drop that down there. 50 grand. Chump change to us. We don't, uh, we don't really mind. Uh, it's a fairly straight shot into town. May as well use the existing bridge. We've got the highway's got a bit of traffic on it. I mean, the highway sort of <laughs> dies and becomes a country road at this point. But yeah, that, that tells us that uh, we're not doing enough to transport people between Austin and Merino Valley because there's still plenty of private cars on the roads. Yeah, not great. Uh, also, Merino Valley has grown and the city circle has not moved to uh, yeah, correct that. Not correct that, but to, to cover it. So I should probably fix that up as well. Uh, so you, my friend, are going to go from the lower Merino Valley down to the Merino Valley sidings. Apparently they're sidings. Looks like a truck stop to me. Uh, and we'll call this Merino Valley uh, Deliveries. Boom. Good. Now, we're going to need some trucks on that route as well. Uh, good thing we have a depot in town here. And we'll go ahead with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those. We're rapidly approaching 650 vehicles. That's going to be fun to replace. Uh, what do we call them? Merino Valley Deliveries. Off you go, guys. Go forth and deliver our... Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong end. They're all coming out of the depot down here, you dummy. 
There they go. Uh, go forth and make us some coin. And this guy's going to get a rude shock. Yep, we've just pushed out into the intersection. We're bigger than you. We do what we want. Nah, now auto saves haven't... Oh, no, he's going to make it. Oh, we didn't have a praying. That's that's important. Always always good to see that we can get through the day without a traffic accident. You know, that's, that's a thing that we worry about. Now, how much coverage do we have? Okay, so we've sort of covered most of the town. In fact, we've covered the entirety of the town except for this bit. But I still think it wouldn't hurt to have a, a better bus service running out here just to make sure people can get to the station. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and put down a bus stop say here yeah yeah because we'll run from the station we'll come probably we won't, probably won't go by that stop there we might as well have another one up here uh just just so people don't have to walk too far to get to the train because well not to the train sorry to the bus because people are inherently lazy uh and why don't we drop one down here near the depot just so our own uh, technicians can get to work and then we'll just have him turn around at this bus stop here and retrace his steps and likewise i sort of want to uh, try and capture this part of town up here how do we end up with one old bit of road out here when everything else is modern that's that's a good effort uh mm, yes so i do want to have a bus route run up here to turn around here but there's more people down here so we might have to come back to that one uh, yeah, how are we going to get a bus route to turn around up here? Because, again, we'll have him probably come down this way, out this way, and then come up here. So if we go with a small street, we can probably just put a cheeky little turnaround uh, sort of block in here. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, straight, straight line, straight line, good. And then, yeah, just, just a cheeky little turnaround there so we can turn a bus around. Uh, and we'll just drop a bus stop in I'll do one up there. Actually, we'll put it here so it facilitates the turning around bit of the turnaround. Because turning around. Important. Uh, and go ahead and whack one down there. I think I'll put a street light in the middle of that one again. And we'll go ahead and set up a couple of new bus routes for Merino Valley to get people down to the station and hopefully out of their cars. Uh, so line two, uh, if you could start up at the station, please. Uh, yeah, just run around the block as you feel you need to. And then run down this way. And then over to there to turn around and then come back again. And that should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, you want to go around that way. That's not too much of a problem. Uh, so let's see. If we face north, that will be eastern Merino Valley. So we'll call this Merino Valley e Eastern Suburbs. Boom. And then the other one, obviously, will be the western suburbs. So we'll start him up here. Uh, how are we going to get down to this bus stop here? Do we even want to bother going down to the bus stop? Then we might just go down to this one. Woodland Street, uh, hit up this one here. Yeah, that's going to require some fancy manoeuvring. Uh, and then swing by over here. Oh, train 84 is getting old. We should probably look at that one. Uh, and then make your way back again. Is that going to... God, that looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Uh, okay, maybe we don't want to go via Woodland Street. Let's, let's delete that and see what sort of route it wants to take. Yeah, that's not terribly convenient. Because um, it's got to go via Lincoln Street. Uh, why does it have to go via Lincoln Street? Because we just built it? Why not just send it via this one? Yeah, why do we need Lincoln Street at all? Why don't we uh, go Smith Street, River Street, Lake Street, River Street? That seems to make eminently more sense. That looked like a bit of a furphy there. We'll just, just get rid of that one. Uh, so this is Merino Valley uh, Western no, you can't spell suburbs. You've, you've written it out several times this episode, but you still can't spell it. Uh, we'll go ahead and just get rid of this bus stop here because well, we didn't need it after all. I had visions of running buses along the waterfront, but clearly we don't need to. We clearly need to run more trains, though. There are a lot of people waiting for the old central loop-de-loop -loop there. Uh, we'll go ahead and put down one, two, three, four on the eastern suburbs. It's going to be here somewhere. Uh, eastern suburbs and one no that's no you've closed the depot and clicked on something else completely wrong now that's a that's a road vehicle that that's another road vehicle that's an industrial building that's that's another road vehicle that's the depot yeah got there in the end uh one two three four and these guys should be going on the western suburbs if you would be so kind to figure out where you're going so what is the most popular train through here Okay, no one wants to go to Fort Collins, apparently. Everyone wants to go to either Plano, 
Uh, Mount Importance or Austin on the central loop the loop. This is a very popular line. I get the feeling we're going to have to put more trains on it. Uh, how many trains do we already have on it? A lot. Maybe if we replace the steam trains with diesels, we can get a bit more, uh, a bit more mileage out of it. It's not like we're hurting for cash. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, replace you. Seven million to go. Okay, so it's not cheap, but we should be able to get away with it. And then they'll be able to go faster uh, and deliver more people uh, to where they need to go over the uh, over the time that they are running. That was a poorly constructed sentence. Well done. Uh, yeah, replace you. Replace you. Uh, replace you. Yeah, get rid of more. Uh, Watch the bank balance. It has barely moved. Uh, get rid of you. Boom. Nope, just, no, stop clicking on random industrial buildings. You, 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 it's just not accomplishing anything. Uh, do I really get rid of the Australians? Oh, I do like them. They're so Australian. What's your top speed? That'll that'll be what what cinches it. 136. What's the top speed of the diesel? I get the feeling it's 180. Um, well, there's nothing stuck behind you, so it's a point in your favour. Uh, let's just keep cruising the map. Uh, shout out if you see a train. No, that doesn't count. Uh, there's one. That is a diesel. What's your top speed? Uh, 150. Okay, so 136 is not that much below 150 because your top speed was only 100. So we'll let the Australians live a bit longer and not because I love them so much, but I secretly do. Uh, we'll, we'll let them keep going just because they look freaking cool and hopefully the, uh, the new diesels we've built, I don't think this is one of them, uh, we'll start making a dent in those uh, those passenger numbers. Uh, now, obviously, you're picking up going to Fort Collins, so we need to see how many people actually stay on the train. Wow, you are almost running empty. How about you? You're coming in from Fort Collins. Uh, obviously, you're going to pick up a lot of people. Are you dropping off a lot of people going back to Moreno Valley? Yeah, you're dropping a few off. Okay, so there will be capacity on that train to pick people up then. And uh, everyone is just teeming straight down the stairs in a surge of humanity. And there's people bleeding through the concrete. It's, it's not a pretty scene. But you know what? It's it's functional. So we'll uh, we'll run with it. Uh, a few people waiting at this bus stop. They're all waiting for the city circle. I was hoping they'd, they'd run up to jump on our brand new bus. Uh, by the way, one person is on that bus who is uh, coming out to this bus stop here. So... You know, curious to see, curious to see where he goes after he gets off this bus. Okay, let's just let's just see who how, who we've helped and how much we've helped them. Yep, bus turns the corner. Good for you. Pulls into the stop. Last stop, buddy. Off you get. Yep, there he goes. Hello, you're going home. Oh, Madeline. Okay, are you the angry lady we saw like last part in Austin? I think you are. And is that your home? I think so, because she's disappeared. Well, that's awfully convenient for you. We built your bus stop right outside. And this is probably your husband coming home from work, or your wife. You can do what you need to do. Uh, but that's good there. Okay, so what else do we need to work on? We um, we had to throw down some more passengers somewhere. Was it Austin? Wow, Central Loop to Loop is really struggling. We would uh, we'd benefit from more trains on there as well as upgrading the other ones. Uh, how are we going at the fuel siding too? 363 items of fuel trying to go to Austin. Wow, makes me think the train that we've built there isn't cutting it. Is he is he struggling to get up the hill or something? Okay, he's currently in a tunnel. Oh, he's coming back to Columbia West. Okay. Financially, he's coming in strong. So I'm not opposed to building a second train for this route. You know? I mean, what's his capacity? 180, and there's 360 waiting. So that's two trains worth of freight. That's a nice looking Mikado, though, isn't it? That's right, we built the black. Looks really, really mean and, you know modern as opposed to the other one with the silver and the red which just looks like a toy i think i don't know it's hard to tell uh now let's go ahead and get ourselves another one of those so we'll go with the, the black mikado again you need silver and red don't need that uh and then we'll go ahead and whack on uh we'll, we'll keep them uniform uh what's that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we'll go ahead and drop a caboose on as well uh so that way at least they look uh, exactly the same as each other. So you have 10, you have 10 good stuff. So you, sir, are going on the Austin fuel deliveries uh, line, which is under F fuel. No, th there it is, there, yeah, Austin, there you go, good. So he'll have to run empty for a spell uh, before he can come back because obviously we couldn't connect that line up to the depot. 
Actually, we probably could if we really worked at it. Well, it doesn't matter now because he's coming out anyway. But uh, no, no, he could have come straight out. So good. We may as well connect that up for the next poor sod that we build who can't get straight to his platform. Well, through some sort of miracle of physics, he can go straight into his platform. I'm not going to question it. Uh, I suspect there was some sort of derailing and then picking up with a crane. And um, We've sort of had a bit of a prang with the landscape here. Just, just scraped up against the wall there. So, yeah, don't know how long-lived this connection will be, but, you know, it's not like we're carrying anything flammable that a spark will cause problems. Yep, just scrape all the fresh paint. Yep, knock the ladder off. No, that's fine. No, you do what you got to do, buddy. Let's not look at that. Let's look in this direction and think happy thoughts. Yeah. Uh, but I think that ring brings us to the end of this episode, uh, folks. We've... Uh, well, we've definitely gotten rid of the fuel backlog up here. We've, we've now gone back to having an oil backlog. So this, this refinery here is making a killing, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, we've, we've completely worked our way through the backlog down here. And, uh, yeah, now we can't produce fuel fast enough. Fantastic. If anything, we need to transport more oil. Uh, we've got a lot of plastic waiting over here too. Uh, what are we going to do next, ladies and gentlemen? I honestly don't know. Uh, we have a lot of slag waiting up at Fort Collins. We should probably do something about uh, I, I really just want to have a bit of a swing around our network now that we've connected all our towns up and see what else we can do because, you know, we've sort of neglected a lot of these towns for quite a while and they've grown and seriously, that's a lot of cattle and they're trying to go in both directions, which is, I think, what we wanted. I honestly can't remember. But, yeah, we should probably go ahead and throw down another couple of uh, trains on this route here because... Wow, that's a lot of cattle. Uh, and considering this is a log siding, that's quite an achievement. Uh, but yeah, no, as I said, I want to do a bit of a run around the map, have a look at some of the towns where we could where we could make some improvements, uh, maybe see some of the lines that are a bit saturated. Like, we've got a lot of stuff waiting for this, uh, whatever this line is, the, the goods. Why did I put that in lower... Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. Uh, yeah, you know, we've got a lot of freight waiting here. We could uh, we could, we could, stand to put a few more trains on a few more routes, as long as we don't track Locker Junction again, uh, and we should be okay. But uh, until then, I've been Teenick. This has been Transport Fever on the American Free Game Map. Really hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope to have your company again next week. Until then, later days.